Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Can you make a property typhoon proof or maybe earthquake proof? Um, in the Philippines, the question is not whether you can or can't, but whether it's viable. Um, construction costs are relatively cheap. The only advantage I would say of this is actually um, risks to human life. Because um, obviously if you have a concrete slab drop down from the first floor, it's got potential risk of killing everybody underneath. In the same way, you'll find some of the construction, um, people don't actually put concrete above them. Um, they may put a timber floor, for example, something a bit lighter and got a bit more flexibility in it as well. Where obviously the movement on concrete is probably uh, not going to be great in the Philippines due to the sand and cement ratios, etc. It's not going to be the best. Um, I use concrete, but I also check the mix. Um, most of the stuff you'll buy. One of the ways they save money is by skimping on the mix. So be aware of that. Would I recommend investing in something typhoon proof and uh, earthquake proof, etc.? Uh, it's like I said, it's it's the viability of it. It's the cost. It's literally just cost. Um, would I have a shipping container on the lot instead? You know, is an extra building just pretty it up? Um, I'd say that's a possibility because that'll withstand up to I think 120 mile an hour winds. Um, it's pretty robust for things dropping on it because the most you're probably going to uh, have fall on it is probably uh, the odd small mango or something <laughs> if you're actually using it as a prepared shelter. So. From that scenario, it may pay to actually get a shipping container. We also have to remember the Philippines has 7,000 islands. Um, so if you're in Cebu City, <laughs> it's not viable. If you're on a remote island and keep ration packs and stuff in there, it's not only viable, but maybe even essential. Um, for example, you, it's not only food, you could have a generator, you could have solar power, you could have um, some life support when everything goes goes to pop, which sometimes it does. Um, I know some areas that are still out without electricity uh, since Typhoon Haiyan, which was a couple of years ago. So you, you have to be prepared that the Philippines is what it is. It is in Asia. It's a developing nation. It's got huge logistic problems because of it being islands and not one flat piece of land. So as such, adjust your preparedness for it. Um, I love some shipping container houses and stuff, which is why I have shippingcontainer.net. If you're looking for it at the moment, um, my web host, I paid Highly don't recommend them. <laughs> um, have destroyed um, several of my sites um, due to the the most get viruses on the system. I'm not sure how they did it because I've never had that problem with anybody else. Uh, but funny enough, they then email them asking me if I want to buy uh, this extra software, which any good host already has on it. You learn by your mistakes. But at the same time, I'm just waiting for my um, domain manager, who is currently on Labor Day, which I believe is an American holiday, um, so I can shift my domains because uh, they're pointing at IP servers, because uh, then I can actually move my backups off my server. I keep server backups, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't rely on web hosts to keep them for me. Um, also, if you ditch a web host, your backup is only going to be a maximum of a couple of months out of date, which in 
real terms often isn't a lot it's recoverable or doesn't really matter if you lost it ah <laughs> but yeah preparing for the worst Philippines gets typhoons Philippines gets heavy rain uh, flooding landslides it gets all sorts of problems all the time um, how many typhoons does it get um, I think it's about just under a hundred a year. Doesn't sound a lot. <laughs> Obviously, not all of them are major, but it's something to be aware of. It's something to research where you're going to live. That's the other thing. A lot of people don't. Um, I had somebody ask me today about a location they're looking at visiting, and I'm sort of like, "Well, you're already booking to come here." Um, if I'm going somewhere, I already roughly know where I'm going. When I was moving the family to Spain, I'd already been out here and investigated the area. When I went to Cebu, I researched and read somebody's uh, Lonely Planet Guide, which um, was out of date. <laughs> I went on the forums, etc. Investigate, get an understanding. Research what natural disasters happen there because they do, and when they do happen, they can be very severe, uh, which is why being prepared really matters. All right, thanks for watching.